Hi guys, it's Alex from the Style Jungle here and today we have a new BMW 3 Series and I'm going to do a full in-depth review of this car and I'm going to show you why I think this is the best car of its kind in the market. This is not our first video about the 3 Series. We have already filmed a first thoughts video on the launch event of this model early in the year. So if you want to check it out, make sure to click on the pop-up banner in the corner of the screen or follow the link down below the video. And we are going to continue with full in-depth review. So when you're choosing a car, to buy you're of course thinking about the design of it and the 3 series is a pretty looking car it's very stylish it's very modern so the new generation of the 3 series comes standard with M package here in New Zealand so you have more aggressive front bumper of course uh, bigger alloy wheels and if you want to go even further you can of course put spoiler you can add some more styling here. The standard configuration for the car, of course, has this LED headlights, kidney grille. Of course, all the BMWs nowadays, they have this feature when the car doesn't need cooling, it just closes down the uh, grille. So it looks better, improves the aerodynamics of the car. And what I like uh, about the 3 Series is that the kidney grille is not that big because comparing to X5 or X7 when they have like a ridiculously big grille, this car is very sensible with it. So I would say this is probably the best looking BMW car at the moment. As part of M Sports package there is a lot of bits and pieces around the car and one of the uh, most noticeable of course is M Sports brakes. They're colored in this amazing blue paint which looks really really sporty as well as these 19 inch alloy wheels really massive quite aggressive i like the design of them very cool here is one of my favorite parts about the new 3 series is that when you open the door the part of uh, the door actually stays here so it gives a very interesting feeling the edge over here is just the window itself so it's it's a very very nice um, touch of the design I like it as well as tinted rear windows and a rear window over here they're all tinted it helps a lot especially in the countries like New Zealand when we have quite a lot of sunshine it's amazing to have windows tinted so it's not very hot inside of the car of course here at the back we have 3d rear lights I absolutely adore the design of them it looks absolutely stylish especially at night the car brightens up a lot looks absolutely fantastic love it and of course the tailgates unfortunately not all the models have automatic tailgates this one doesn't have it uh, but you can optionally upgrade it or if you are going for the most expensive m300 foli it has an automatic tailgate unfortunately our car doesn't have it so you have to do this old-fashioned way uh, just with your hands um, but as you can see it's a lot of space we have quite a big duffel bag here and we have this big suitcase and it's still a lot of space inside so you can put probably twice as much as we have uh, here now at the moment which is absolutely great for uh, a sedan car if you want to carry longer items let's say skis or I don't know a piece of wood for your do-it-yourself stuff uh, you can do this here so you can increase the uh, boot area a little bit to the inside of the car and if you need more space you can of course fold the rear seats um, to increase the uh, boot area and you can do this from here so you don't have to go around the car uh, you have two points here and uh, the loading area is almost completely flat so if you have a big suitcase you can easily slide it over and you still have a lot of space here in the boot area to put more stuff there are some nice details that um, help you to even increase the practicality so let's say these nettings they're very useful let's say we were doing groceries the other day and uh, we just put a lot of veggies over there so we don't have to you know use any kind of plastic bags or whatever uh, so it was awesome they don't move around uh, in the boot area uh, so that is just absolutely, absolutely great. There is also a 12 volt socket here. It's a little bit hidden. So if you want to charge any kind of device or to put a chili bean inside, that's all good. Uh, you're all set for that. But enough of the boots uh, talk. Let's move inside and I'll show you what you have in terms of interior in this car. What we have here is sports seats. 
their standard for uh, this model both driver and uh, passenger uh, sports seats with plenty of adjustments so if you're tall of course uh, you can sit as low as you want and as actually as far as you want there's plenty of adjustments in the steering wheel as well basically you can suit any kind of driver even if you are quite short super comfortable lumbar support as well and side supports and of course uh, two positions that you can put in the memory of the car another thing is uh, you can actually save uh, your driving position in your driver's profile so if let's say there are two persons using this car on a regular basis and you don't want to change your driving positions or radio settings or whatever every time so you can basically use two different uh, keys so one driver has all his settings saved for his key and when you open the car uh, with that key it puts all the settings for that driver it's quite a lot to unpack here uh, inside first of all very comfortable seats are made of uh, vernasca leather there is a lot of different upholstery uh, options depending again on your budget i like this dark interior uh, very much actually uh, i think it's very simple and stylish at the same time and the build quality is just amazing just see how solid it is absolutely spot on bmw is just amazing of course you have this m steering wheel it's leather as well you can optionally upgrade it to be heated uh, we don't actually need it here in new zealand uh, i guess we just maybe need a ventilation but it's not an option here uh, for this car there is no ventilation for the front seats uh, as well unfortunately it's just uh, heating here at the center console so everything is very familiar to all the BMW owners or um, actually to anyone driving uh, modern cars you have uh, this uh, controller over here so you can uh, navigate through the uh, multimedia system you have this gear selector start engine uh, button here and all the driving modes uh, as well park assistance cameras everything is very easy to access and the layout I like it a lot it's much better than it was before in previous generations and in some of the cars let's say if you compare this car to the uh, X2 uh, this car is much much nicer in terms of how everything is laid out it's very similar to what we have on X5 X6 X7 and the one series the new one it's a way to move forward for BMW and I like it a lot here the central console of course we have two big screens uh, instrument display huge uh, all digital ones very high resolution and of course the multimedia screen big as well what I like about the BMW infotainment system I really think it's the best one at the market in terms of how it's operated but another thing is the screen is aligned towards the driver a little bit so it's easy to read you don't get a lot of reflections or anything and it's a part of the console so it's not like a tablet uh, just uh, you know attached to the front side of the car it's a very well thought through uh, design so the multimedia system can be controlled in different ways so first of all there is intelligent assistant when you can uh, ask the car to do uh, some work for you so let's say you want to do the navigation for a certain point on the map or you want to change the track or you want to change the ambient lighting or whatever um, the car can do this for you you can also use gestures so of course you can turn the volume up or down you can skip uh, tracks you can also rotate the cameras with gestures so it's uh, all very very smart you of course have this touch screen so uh, and you can customize it it's a new generation of BMW entertainment system so you can customize the uh, home screen so you can upgrade uh, the software from your home so you can basically upload it uh, from your home Wi-Fi network in previous generations you had to go to the dealer or to the service station and do the upgrade now it's basically like a smartphone upgrade you can do this uh, at home uh, no problem at all you have Apple CarPlay unfortunately you don't have any kind of Android auto connection uh, for some reason you can connect uh, your phone with Bluetooth you can do the navigation of course upload some apps 
from uh, their store. Together with this uh, instrument display, it creates a very nice uh, area for the driver. So you have the map over here as well. So you don't have to look here for your navigation anymore. You have all those directions here. You have a head-up display which shows the information about your speed limit, about uh, your current speed, about uh, the system that are active, let's say collision prevention systems. It's very comfortable to drive this car. It's a lot of information you can see without actually looking at different screens. So you can basically focus on driving, be alert at all times. Um, it's great. And the new layout uh, of uh, the instrument uh, display is very good. You can even change it uh, a little bit so you can uh, see what's your fuel economy at the moment, what is the driving mode you're using. You have a sports display as well. It's very customizable. Um, I like it a lot. So here inside the new 3 Series is very practical as well. Of course you have two cup holders here. They can fit quite a big bottle uh, and big coffee cups as well. Uh, nice and they don't, you know, wobble uh, around. Quite big door bins as well. So you have uh, space here to put big bottles and some more stuff. Uh, which is great of course for uh, longer trips. You have a wireless charger for your smartphone It doesn't matter if you're using uh, iPhone or uh, Android. Uh, they all are supported. You have a traditional USB uh, Socket here and 12 volt socket here as well if you need to charge more uh, Stuff at the same time and there is another USB C pocket here under your armrest and the armrest itself is quite big as well you have a beautiful sunroof. Unfortunately, it doesn't open all the way to the back, so it's quite a small uh, kind of area. This exact car is also equipped with Harman Kardon speaker system and ambient lighting, which is absolutely great to create that kind of atmosphere uh, in the evening. And you also have a light carpet when uh, you're parked in, uh, let's say, covered parking or um, uh, when it's dark outside, you have this beautiful carpet uh, to actually uh, see where you're going. So what about passengers traveling at the back seat? It is actually very comfortable over here. I like the amount of space you have. Knee room, just heaps of space. Uh, headroom. Uh, I can't say it's a lot. I'm uh, 183 centimeters tall and uh, I'm actually quite fine. Um, it's really really comfortable sitting here. I'm not sure about the angle of uh, this back seat. It's um, angled a little bit too low for me, for my taste. Uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, most people with shorter legs will be uh, absolutely fine over here. Passengers at the back have their own uh, climate control block, so you basically can control the temperature, um, you can set up the auto, uh, set up air flows. You have two USB-C sockets here uh, if you want to charge your mobile devices or your laptops uh, or tablets. Uh, it's uh, absolutely great for, let's say, kids on the longer travels because they're more interested in uh, actually playing tablets than uh, looking at the window. Talking about the window, the window is actually quite big. You have a net over here. It's not that awesome as on um, SUV models of the BMW. Let's say on the X5 or X3, you have a bigger pocket here, but uh, it's actually reasonably big. So you can put your mobile phone uh, here or something like that. This part of the seat has the hard shell. So if you start to be an annoying passenger and you want to start, you know, uh, hitting the uh, seats. The person in front of you doesn't really feel uh, that impact, uh, which is uh, actually really awesome. What you have here is the armrest, very uh, wide one, so it's enough for two passengers at the back. And you also have cup holders here. They're not that big as uh, in front, but uh, they're enough for uh, big cups of coffee. There is no storage area in here, unfortunately, 
but let's be honest there is not enough uh, things you can put in uh, this area anyway uh, there are always very tiny uh, pieces of storage there so uh, yeah very nice armrest and the last thing I want to show you is the anchor points for um, the child seats. They're easy to uh, put here. The cover is not removable, so you can't really lose it. So it's easy to open, you can't lose it, everything you want. Um, actually very nice. And you have uh, two on each side, so you can basically fit two child seats here at the back. And if you want to sit in between child seats, uh, it's actually not very comfortable, but it's a doable thing. So there is a big hump in the floor here. I would say for a short journey with two uh, child seats, it should be fine. The only downside for me uh, of traveling here at the back of the BMW 3 Series is that the view from here is not actually the best. So you have this big uh, rear window, which is actually great, but you can't really see what's going on around the car because front seats block your view and uh, actually the windscreen is not that big. And because it's angled that way, so you can't really um, understand what's going on in front of the car. It's not the most rear passenger friendly car in terms of uh, viewing and entertainment but it's definitely great in terms of comfort as well as all the modern BMWs this 3 series is actually packed with uh, technology so it's a lot of driver's assistance systems um, built in this car I use them all the time especially the limiter because it's connected with the signs reading information as well so you have cameras on actually each side of the car and uh, it collects the information about the uh, yeah, road signs, speed limits. It also has emergency braking and it has front collision uh, prevention system as well. It helps you to actually feel more comfortable and more confident inside the car. Of course you have all those systems, uh, let's say lane keeping assistance, blind spots uh, monitoring system as well. You have um, this uh, cruise control. It's all very smart and helps you to actually increase the comfort inside the car. 320i, which is the entry level model of the 3 Series, starts from $75,950 here in New Zealand. You also have 320d, which is of course the diesel model, the only diesel model available for the 3 Series at the moment. It's $77,500. This model that we have here, which is 330i, petrol uh, model of course 89,900 New Zealand dollars and there is also a first ever plug-in hybrid 3 series which starts from $91,900 and top of the range the best and the most exclusive car you can buy from the 3 series is of course M340i it's four wheels drive X drive Saturn model and it starts from $116,900, so it's of course quite pricey. So why do I think this is the best car for its value in its class? First of all, it is very, very stylish. It's packed with technology. It has reasonable price and I guess you get a lot of things for this price. It's very practical. You can fit a lot in this car. You feel the joy when you drive this car as well. It is a very, very comfortable car. It's fun to drive. You get a lot of smart features. You get a smartphone app so you can control some of the car functions from uh, your device. Even if you're on the other side of the world. You get all those assistance systems which are uh, actually very nice and you get two large digital displays and head-up display to focus more on driving and less on controlling the car which is absolutely great and I think this is the best car by BMW available at the moment and it's definitely one of the best cars at the market in 2019 and actually following 2020. So guys this is it for today it was our review of the all new BMW 3 series we hope you liked it we definitely enjoyed it so much filming it for you feel free to check our other car reviews to do so please click on the pop-up banner over here or follow the links down below the video subscribe to our channel to support us and hit the like button 
of course and we hope to see you guys very very soon bye bye